Today, we are exploring the Scottish Highlands. Well, we're getting our last look at Loch Ness right there, and we're gonna be heading out today on a Scottish Highlands adventure. We're going to a Highlands game, which we're very excited about. Also, we might see a train from a famous movie and more beautiful things because Scotland is an absolutely beautiful country. Well, we are in the little town of Fort Augustus. It is right at the end of Loch Ness and the biggest boat is literally, you cannot get bigger than these locks in the canal system. It is about to go through the lock. Unfortunately, we can't stick around and watch it, but it was quite the sight because it's literally bigger than the entire town. Right now, we are heading up to Malig, which is a port town in the Western Highlands. We're going to head up there because we think it's going to be a great spot to get some fish and chips. Right now I'm walking in Malig, that's behind me. We've got one of the giant ferries that goes to the Isle of Skye, I think, behind me. And we're gonna head over into the town and we're going to have a bit of fish and chips. They're very famous for those here. It's one dish we've been holding out on, but I'm excited to get some. The drive up this coast was absolutely beautiful. I think like, maybe like the coast of Oregon and Washington is what it reminded me of. Um, but you'd think, well, it's on the coast, it's probably decently flat. There's pretty tall little mountains around here and it's very rocky and it's just, uh, I'm glad we came out into this area of Scotland because, you know, we're in the Highlands, technically we're still in the Highlands, but you're in the mountainous area and then you get out to the coast and it just, the topography changes very quickly and uh, this country just keeps bringing the views and um, you know we're at the halfway point of our trip and we're starting to get sad because we know we're going to be leaving soon. Well before we grab some fish and chips here in Malig and my apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. We grabbed a raspberry brioche at this bakehouse and we walked by, it smelled amazing. The breads looked in there, the breads looked amazing. Madeline and I said, we're not gonna eat new bread today, which has been false because we ate bread at breakfast and now we're eating this. We're gonna save most of this for later, but we wanna try it now. It's beautiful, it looks like a donut, but they kept the bottom and they filled it with goodies. Oh, okay. Well, it's full of filling. Mmm, that's good. Yeah. You're gonna like that. Well, we have the bagpipes playing in the background. We're about to go grab some fish and chips here at the Cornerstone restaurant. I, I mean. They just started playing. Yeah, and we're not actually sure where they're coming from. They might just be pumping it through some speakers. I, no, there's someone over there playing and people are taking pictures. Oh. He's just on this side this of the This is, street. I mean, it's like you, you're here and they it's know real. what you, yeah. It's really, uh, it's literally everything you think it's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out it's a little guy. He's pretty good.
We just put our order in here at the Cornerstone restaurant and Madeline is getting classic fish and chips. It's battered haddock, got the chips and peas as a side, coming with tartar sauce. And we're really excited to have that here. Looking at the ocean here in Scotland, I mean, I don't think it's gonna get any better than that. And I'm getting seafood risotto. Madeline had it the other night and I was pretty jealous. So this looks like a good spot to get it. It's gotta be really fresh because we're right here by the sea and it's got the catch of the day included in it. So we're ready for that to arrive. Well, our fish and chips has arrived. It is a gigantic, beautiful piece of haddock here. Wow. We have peas, we have chips, tartar sauce. I'm really tempted to just pick the whole piece up and go for it. But I won't because I don't think that's polite table manners. Cut it in half. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Beautifully flaky, battered, and steaming hot. It's hot. We're going to go for it. Incredibly fresh fish, very crunchy, delicious tartar sauce. What more could you want? Oh, it's good. I hope you can hear that crunch. That is crunchy. Well, I've been waiting for my first bite of fish and chip here in Scotland, and I'm going to go fish and chip. It's generations of people who know how to do it right. And it's hard not to say that this is the perfect fish and chip. Well, I have this beautiful dish. It's seafood risotto and it's got mussels, the catch of the day, and smoked salmon in here as well. And the plating skills everywhere we've been in Scotland have been off the charts. It just looks absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna get mussel and that fresh seafood right there. It's so fresh, but the risotto, perfectly cooked, very, very uh, savory. Yeah. This is, this is hitting the spot by the sea, that's for sure. A tremendous stop here in Malig at the Cornerstone restaurant to have some fish and chips. A nice seafood lunch here in Scotland. And we are going to then keep exploring this area and we're gonna go to a Highland Games, which is something they said, if you can find one, you want to go experience and we were really lucky that there was one going on the one day a year while we were here so off to the highland games we go Well, we've definitely arrived at the Highland Games. Yes, we have. This is something that we've been looking forward to our whole trip, and we are beyond excited that it we and made it here and it was going on while we were going to be here. And the setting is unreal. <laughs> I mean, you're looking at the ocean, there's other islands and mountains, and there's a golf course right here. And, and uh, uh, it's just... Bagpipes. You couldn't and draw it up as a more classic setting, I think. Wow. This is... Sometimes it all comes together.
Well, we are enjoying our first Highland Games so far. We've seen them throw the hammers, we've seen the dancing, we've had a bagpipe show. Now we're getting to the part which I was really looking forward to, which is the tossing of the giant log. There's probably a more technical name for it, but... I don't know how you learned that skill, but uh, I'm very impressed by it. One of the things that you might notice is that there is a Scottish flag flying and a North Carolina flag flying. North Carolina has a lot of immigration from Scotland in colonial times and there are a lot of Scottish people in North Carolina. So I think that I was walking around, I was like, hey, I don't, that's, I think that's North Carolina's flag. And it was, so it's fun to see um, some of that heritage represented here as well. Also, as per usual, Madeline and I pretty much stuff ourselves and we're beginning to feel like that's a problem here at the Highland Games because we're right next to a truck that is serving up some sausages that look and smell absolutely delicious. The line is at least 50 people long, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get one unless the line dies down significantly here, but um, we did not make a mistake eating the fish and chips, but we may have sure just gotten one entree and then gotten some food here at the Highland Games. I don't know what we were thinking. Adam has become a part of the Highland Games doing the barrel racing and um, he's moved on to the next round. <laughs> he's doing really well and I have to say I'm just really impressed with the confidence. He said they were calling for barrel racers. He said I'll just go see if I can join. <laughs> and he did. And um, wow, this is just an absolutely <laughs> incredible and surprising <laughs> experience. Oh no. Oh no. Oh goodness. Oh gosh. <laughs> So he came in second, <laughs> took a nasty fall there at the end. Well, oh. <laughs> second place doesn't get a prize. No, <laughs> except for falling on your stomach in front of <laughs> thousands of people. <laughs> well, that I would say was an incredibly successful trip to the Highland Games. It was something that we really were looking forward to and Adam getting out there and getting involved just made the whole thing just an incredible, incredible experience. Making memories out here today in an unreal setting in the most amazing way. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless because that was just so fun. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Right now we are driving over to catch a glimpse of the Jacobite steam train on the Glenfinnan Viaduct. 
and this is the uh, Hogwarts Express, basically. In the movies, when you see the train going over the viaduct with the beautiful mountains behind it, that is what we are going to see today. It's a really popular spot. We are hoping to get a good parking space and get over to see this iconic Harry Potter image. Are here at the Glenfinnan Viaduct where the Jacobite steam train comes through that you might recognize from Harry Potter, the Hogwarts Express. Unfortunately, the train is not running today because there is a transportation strike ongoing in the UK. So that is a bit of a bummer that is not happening today, but it is still a very, very cool spot and it, it looks familiar. I always say this when we see places that are famous for movies. I always go, hmm, I've seen that before. It feels familiar to me. So there is a bit of a hike up to a better viewpoint. So we're heading up there to get a view of the whole viaduct but um, from down there, these are already pretty cool. Well, even with no train coming by, this is well worth the stop. Hopefully when you come visit, the train is in action, but we can imagine it and watch it for all time in movies. So over here is the Jacobite Monument, and it's to the soldiers that fought for Bonnie Prince Charlie. It's a major part of Scottish history, and you feel that everywhere when you're out here in the Highlands. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful location. This lock behind me, also used for Harry Potter as a backdrop for Hogwarts. Makes sense. feel like if I wandered back in there, I'd find Hogwarts. It's a pretty good feeling. Right now we're driving over to Glencoe and we're just driving along beautiful locks and mountains and in and out of little towns here right along the water. It's just been pretty much constant beautiful drives while we've been here in Scotland. It's not a surprise, but it has made for a very enjoyable road trip. We are in the small town of Glencoe grabbing a very quick uh, pizza takeaway, as they call it here. Uh, we're gonna go through this beautiful area. Right after that, we're gonna find a nice spot and eat some pizza. The minutes melt away when you're exploring here, you're driving all over, kind of doing a road trip. And this seemed like a really good spot to grab something a little quicker and just keep going. And so um, it's a really nice property and uh, the staff here is really nice and uh, I'm actually very much looking forward to pizza because after pushing those whiskey barrels at the Highland Games today, uh, I worked up a little bit of a hunger. Sometimes you just have to eat pizza in beautiful places. This is a spicy beef and venison pizza with garlic on it. Felt like the Highlands, so. It's pretty good.
and it's, it's really hitting the spot right now after pushing those whiskey barrels today. We're taking advantage of the fact that the sun stays out till like 1030 here because we are exploring all day long. We do get tired. This helps. And things do close down. Like the sun is still up, but things start to close at like six o'clock. Well, we are finishing up our day here as we're driving from Glencoe through the National Park over to our hotel that we're staying in tonight in Kennecraig. This has been such an incredible day. The sights that we have seen and the places we stopped, the Highland Games, I was everything that we were hoping it would be. As amazing as today was, the bar is set very high for the rest of our trip and we still have so many great things planned i'm i'm very excited for all the things that we have coming up especially tomorrow if you want to see more from our adventures in scotland click right here don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one